Welcome everyone to Hufin News, where we give you guys news according to the charts. Today is October the 22nd, 2017. And today the overall cryptocurrency market traded sideways. The market did shoot lower early on in the trading section, but some of the cryptocurrencies did recover from those from the selling that occurred today. We will talk about that momentarily as we get into these charts as we usually do but before we get started i give you guys my disclaimer to let you guys know that we are not investment advisors and that we are not giving you investment advice but rather we are giving you the interpretation of the price bars and the volume there so you guys can see that the market cap for the cryptocurrency market now stands at 172.4 billion yesterday it was at 170 three billion dollars so you guys can see that that is a small deduction from the overall market cap for the cryptocurrencies now today bitcoin did shoot lower on the trading session but it did recover a little bit of those losses they are down 0.63 percent ethereum is also down 1.85 ripple is down 2.26 bitcoin cash had a fantastic day up 3.66 percent litecoin is down 2.22 dash is down one percent bitconnect is down neo is up 5.34 monero is down iota is up and ethereum classic is down 0.68 so you guys can see here on this bitfinex website that bitcoin is down 0.94 percent last trade was at five thousand nine hundred fifty one dollars and seventy cents so we predicted that bitcoin will be trading sideways between fifty eight hundred dollars and the highs either from the 20th or from the 21st of october so the high came exactly or pretty close to the high that we predicted on the 10th 20th of october we analyzed or predicted that it will come to 5800 shot a little lower than that to around 5705 but we're still expecting bitcoin to trade sideways now that sideways can still include fifty six hundred dollars back up to sixty two hundred dollars i know that is a very wide area that bitcoin can trade but given the size of today's spread you would expect another equal to a larger size spread on tomorrow okay now we had the stockpile reveal itself on the 21st of October the market shot down lower on top of that stockpile but the market wasn't able to close above it so that tells us that the market is not necessarily all that strong so the analysis is leaning more toward sideways to lower but we would just continue to say that it's going to be trading sideways and we gave you guys the area between the sideways trading action for Bitcoin now it might come back down to 5800 and then shoot up to $6,200 again but we just would like to see if the buyers are still in the market for Bitcoin so we just continue to say $5,600 up to 62 so the next one is going to be Ethereum so ethereum is down 2.53 percent last trade was at 292 dollars and 28 cents so originally we said that ethereum was going to be trading sideways and we told you between 290 and around 310 and then after i concluded the video i kind of re reevaluated my analysis and said that ethereum was going to be moving higher and i left that note in the description box rather than me doing a whole new video for ethereum so what occurred today is that ethereum did shoot higher but it did not go all the way up to that 309 dollars that we forecasted but rather in fact it went down and went as high as 305 dollars and 62 cents but the thing that is is alarming to us is the fact that the market closed almost to the low of today's bar as well as yesterday's low so the market for ethereum is still giving us precursors of weakness and our analysis is for them to continue to trade sideways to lower 
and now we are eyeing $280 for Ethereum. The sideways trading acts will be between $300 all the way down to $280. Over the last several trading days, Ethereum has tried to push higher, but it hasn't been successful. The market has just been trending lower every trading day. So we might get one particular trading day to where the market closes higher, but we need to see a definite precursor to strength before this trend is broken. So we're still waiting on that particular bar and we do not have that yet. So our analysis is for Ethereum for them to trade between $300 and 280. So Bitcoin Cash is the next one. So Bitcoin Cash is up 0.18%. Last trade was at $324.37. You guys can go back and check out our video. We were saying that Bitcoin Cash was going to be trading sideways to higher. And look, we mentioned $360 Bitcoin Cash can go. And it did, but man, stockpile also came in on today for Bitcoin Cash. And it's going to take a lot more volume than what we saw today in order to get back up to 360. So that is telling us that we're expecting Bitcoin Cash to at least trade sideways again. And we're looking from the open and close, which was around 339, 340, all the way back down to maybe 280, depending on this stockpile is real excessive. OK, so our analysis for Bitcoin Cash, even though the market did shoot higher, stockpile came in which is a precursor to weakness to push the price to close almost all the way down to the low of the bar so the interest in higher prices for bitcoin cash is not there so the sideways trading action between 340 and 280 is in the cards for bitcoin cash so now we are going to look at ripple So Ripple is down 4.87%. Last trade was at 20 cents. And by the bar we saw yesterday, it was a definite precursor or strength on light volume, but we did not get the confirmation of higher prices. Ripple did move a little higher, but we was under the presumption that it will not come back down to 20 cents. And as a matter of fact, it shot through 20 cents, but at least it was able to close above it. But what is changing our analysis for Ripple from moving higher is the fact that today's bar is of such a wide spread on higher volume that it literally encompasses yesterday's trading. If Ripple breaks 20 cents, then expect it to come to 19 cents and then to 18 cents and, and 17. One of the hardest things that Ripple is trying to eliminate is breaking through 20 cents you guys can see that occurring right now but our analysis is, is trending more towards ripple breaking through 20 cents because the market is not maintaining the precursors of strength that we saw on today so the market will just continue to resume to trend lower okay so our analysis for ripples for them to trend lower sideways lower and we're still looking at 21 cents to 19 cents for Ripple to be trading. The market is just not giving us precursors of strength, so we can't say that Ripple's going to be moving higher at the moment. So now we're going to check out Litecoin. So Litecoin is down 3.65%. Last trade was at $56.08. Again, Litecoin did move lower. We was expecting it to come and touch $56, which it did. It was able to close above it just a little bit at $56.42. Litecoin is also here at a very important area for trading. One of the positive things that Litecoin has given us today is the fact that the volume is extremely light, which tells us that the selling in this particular cryptocurrency has almost been consumed 
and the market is almost ready to move higher now if it does move higher we're looking for it to go to sixty dollars okay but we have had opportunities to where litecoin wanted to move higher but it wasn't successful after we received these precursors of strength so litecoin needs to give us a definite precursors of strength if not then expect it to come back possibly into this ascending triangle and touch this support area which is almost around fifty three dollars and thirty three maybe twenty four cents so our analysis for light corners for them to trade right between this support line which is fifty three dollars and twenty four cents to a high of sixty dollars for the sideways trade in action because today's bar is giving us like a trial run so if the bars are in control then sixty dollars will be where it is going to be trading if not the sellers will push it back down to around fifty three dollars and twenty five cents next is going to be dash so dash is also down at 1.69 percent last trade was at 272 dollars and 80 cents so dash is definitely today has broken the support line that we've drawn and it is forecasted that DAS will continue to be moving lower the volume is extremely high to tell us that the selling was extreme the buyer in the market try to push the market back up but we're still expecting dash to move lower and the next area will be again 260 dollars now the market may try to break through this area of support on tomorrow and it might come as high as 288 but if stockpile comes in around that area then that just gives us more confirmation that DAS will be moving lower so that is our analysis for them to be moving sideways to lower 260 is the area of support that DAS would possibly touch and the high could be as high as 286 dollars or maybe 287 but definitely dash is giving us more precursors of weakness so now it's going to be neo so neo is up 5.50 percent last trade was at 28 dollars and 54 cents so definitely the support and resistance for neo is at 26 dollars to around 30 dollars it might even come all the way up to 32 one more time but it's a pretty good sign to see that neo was able to shoot higher we forecasted it to come to the open and close from the 19th and the 20th of october but it shot above that to almost 30 dollars but stockpile still came in on today's bar but we're still expecting to trade sideways and that will be between 28 dollars and it might even come all the way up to 32 depending on that volume it's really heavy in the market for the market to move higher but definitely we're going to leave it here at 30. so between 28 and 30 dollars is where we're expecting neo to be trading now if the market overall is giving us precursors of weakness and a lot of the cryptocurrencies are moving lower then neo may also follow suit and if that's going to be the case then 26 dollars is going to be in the cards again So next is going to be Ethereum Classic. Ethereum Classic is down 2.44%. Last trade was at $10.59. Again, more precursors of weakness for Ethereum Classic. The market did shoot higher. But it closed right here towards the low of today's bar as well as yesterday's bar. So $10 is where Ethereum Classic is going to be headed. And we're expecting it to come and touch that area as well. That is our analysis for Ethereum Classic is for them to continue to move lower. And $10 is the next support area that we are aiming for Ethereum Classic to go. So the last one for today is going to be Monero. So Monero is also down 2.31%. Last trade was at $86.10. 
in our analysis from yesterday due to this particular price spread we got this price bar we were expecting Monero to continue to trade sideways to maybe higher now the confirmation from today's bar is obviously weak so we're still expecting Monero to trade sideways and ninety dollars is for the high and back here to the support area which is around eighty three eighty two dollars but if the market is still weak then definitely it's going to come back to the lows from the 21st and as well as the 9th of october which is around 82 dollars so please expect that for monero and if this one monero breaks this support line then 80 dollars is going to be where it's going to touch okay so we're still expecting them to trade sideways and we're looking for it to be the low from the 21st which was 82 dollars to a high of maybe $90 for Monero. So overall, I want you guys to see that the interest in these cryptocurrencies is not there. The true individuals or businesses who can actually control this market is not giving us interest or participating overall in these cryptocurrencies. And until they enter the market, then you guys can expect the market to continue to trade sideways to lower until they actually come back into the market. I know that Jamie Dimon was saying that Bitcoin and these altcoins is frauds and he called anyone trading it, then he will fire them. So obviously, I think the cryptocurrency is going through a, tr a phase to see if it can withheld itself without institutional backing. And if the institutionals, financial institutional and institution does not come in and participate in the cryptos, then what we're seeing today will just continue. And these cryptocurrencies will continue to move sideways to lower. And you guys can see that, especially for like Monero and some of the other ones, these cryptos has been trading right here around the support for almost two months now. Well, maybe almost a month now it's been trading right here toward that support and it's not it had opportunity to shoot higher but it, every time it done it it came right back down so maybe you might get another pop-up one more time but it looks like from especially from dash you guys can see that the market finally broke through that support so maybe we might going down another leg for these cryptocurrencies so just keep your eyes up on that if you guys are in these cryptos that necessarily right now it's not that opportunity to come in and buy up these cryptos we need to wait until we get a bottom to where we get a precursor to strength to where the market is going to flip and change its tone to move higher and right now we're just not getting it but if you guys are like swing traders day traders then every day is pretty much an opportunity a golden opportunity to make money based off what these price bars are giving us on a daily basis but that's all we got for today. Appreciate the new subscribers. Guys, use the timestamp that's in the description. And as well, check out our video called Just Some of the Basics. That's all we got for today. Appreciate you guys watching and subscribing and also sharing these videos. Guys, have a good one. You stay profitable and I'll talk to you guys later.